about this type of small. God dang. Can't see none of this. Maybe because I'm so far away from it. What's happening, y'all? What's going on, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? How everybody living? How everybody feeling on today? How everybody living and feeling on today? Same as usual, y'all. Same as same as usual. We in this thing. You know, we about to, I'm about to answer some emails, talk to with a few more of my clients, and then bye y'all. We're just gonna be answering questions and doing what we normally do. But roll call where everybody from, how everybody doing on today, where everybody from. I need to put my phone on do not disturb because I, I got a feeling somebody's gonna try to call me during my live and I'm gonna be upset. I don't like that stuff. But how y'all doing? How everybody doing on the day? Where everybody from? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Yesterday we had who we had up in the building. We had South Carolina, we had Denver, we had uh Florida, we had uh tech, a lot of Texas, a lot of Alabama, and a lot of California. Who we got today? All right, we got Detroit. What's going on, Kim? We got Detroit. What's going on, Diamond? Chicago, but she live in Dundee, Illinois now. Kansas in the building. St. Petersburg, I think I said that right. Florida. Illinois. Okay, we got okay a lot of Illinois. Okay, so Illinois is is, is up in here today. Illinois is winning today. All right, cool. Alaska. You way in Alaska? Oh yeah, you gotta yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing well. Thank you, Fax. Thank you, Fax. South Africa in the building. That's what I'm talking about. I'm doing good. Man, y'all, okay, I like y'all. Okay, first of all, if this going to be the time that Illinois get up on this thing, I'm going to start coming in because it's rare that people ask me how I'm doing. Typically, it's Brian this and Brian that. Y'all some real ones. I like, okay, okay. We got England in the building, Virginia, UK. Roll Tide, I see you. All right, y'all, y'all, y'all real. All right, cool. So, all right, let me hold up. Cause I, I, let me not neglect the email just because I'm talking to y'all because that's my bad habit. I'll be up in here. <laughs> supposed to be replying to stuff and i'm just not <laughs> i'm just not i get so involved with talking with y'all but what's happening y'all what's going on what's going on what's going on we're gonna get things started so for all the new people my name is coach brian oh lord what my lock is doing my name is coach brian uh i'm a holistic wellness and weight loss trainer specialized in detoxification uh practicing to be a future radiologist and that's gonna be my the last of my certification i'm tired of going to school i've been going to school for almost a decade now but um yeah bro i typically come on live any type of health questions y'all have anything any type of herbal questions uh, mur- uh herbal medicine questions y'all want to have we talked about it yesterday i believe the last topic of conversation was um we talked about peptides in the blood we talked about um detoxification we talked about the importance of sweating we talked about um cancer we talked we talked about a lot of stuff yesterday so mick freshly faded better yet known as fantasia is in the bit let me tell y'all something there's not too many people that's in my top three clients because they lazy but this one right here y'all go follow me first of all uh mick freshly faded I'm i'm a pinner i'm a pin her comment but she also does before we get started she also does clothing she's a designer she does artwork all that type of stuff y'all go follow her y'all go follow her rp i'm pretty sure she got them sourced in her main page go follow all that stuff y'all go support this young lady not only is she one of my favorite clients and has and that's the one i've been actually that's the one i've been posting on my uh on my instagram the one that lost all that weight and all exercise videos that's her she does amazing artwork she does amazing clothing work she just had her last um fashion show for the year i think it is she's going to be out of commission doing that for a while but i do believe and correct me if i'm wrong fantasia but i do believe that her commissions and everything else is still in the works for her and but either way support black business and she's amazing and i'm not just saying that because she's a you know she's a client of mine like she's really good at what she does y'all go follow her y'all go support her but um let's see let's see let's see we're gonna start with the questions hey brian have you ever heard of castor oil pack I've heard of castor oil, but I don't know what a castor oil pack is. I'm assuming that that's like just a bunch of stuff or whatever, but castor oil in general, God dang, this chair is tripping. Castor oil in general is one of my favorite oils to use for hair. It helps your hair get thick really, 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 really quickly. But back in the day, old folks used to make uh, sick kids take castor oil. They'll swallow it and add some of the nastiest stuff you can take. I only had to take it once never again but it regularly i will say that too it, it, it at least, your body's gonna purge it out you're gonna be you're gonna be using the bathroom but yeah 
How do you fix your mindset? We, you know what's crazy? We actually talked about that two lives ago, and I was hoping somebody would bring this back up again. Um, when it comes down to fixing the mindset, when it comes down to like you reprogramming yourself, quote unquote, I like to say this. It's very important to talk to yourself. And not only just talk to yourself just because it's like, oh, well, I'm a, you know, it's, it's like, I'm going to say, I'm going to have a great day and this, that, and the third. That's not a bad way to do it, but it, take the time to envision you either do whether it's through prayer, meditation, talking, whatever, you know, take the time to actually put yourself in a place to see and visualize what you're wanting, what you're desiring. Imagine what you happy looks like. Imagine what you being in shape looks and feels like. Imagine you having more than enough in resources and finances. So imagine what that looks like on you. And then that starts to etch something in your subconscious. That starts to etch a memory. It starts to etch inside of your dreams. And then now you can't be, un you, you're fixated on it. You know, so now you have something even more to live for. Not to say that y'all didn't have anything to live for before, but I've noticed with a lot of people that, they don't really come to me for mindset stuff, but like, you know, I've noticed with a lot of clients that I help along the way, it's typically about the mindset because what's the difference between me and what's the difference between y'all? I don't, at this point, I don't have a problem getting up and going run a few. I literally ran, I did like a mile and a half, two miles with my dogs right before I came, right for my last client, my follow up. And then I came on here, you know, it's like, I just wake up and do it. I just wake up and work, but I, it's ingrained. It's a, it's more than discipline. It's a routine. So the only thing that's the difference between me and you is that how bad do you want it? Are you actually taking the steps to talk to yourself and get yourself in? Are you actually trying? That's another thing, too. It's one thing to think about it and visualize. We want to affirm. We want to visualize. We want to manifest on the inside. But faith without works is dead. You can't uh, reap, you can't you can't reap what you don't. sow. you have your, whatever ideology or religious background you want to look at it from. You have to put something in motion. So if you if you're somebody who struggles with prime example, if you struggle if you struggle with like depression and, you know, insecurities and things of that nature. I feel like you should disconnect from social media, from the comparison world. That's what I like to call it. Disconnect from social media from, for a while. Start journaling. Start figuring. Start talking to yourself. Okay, who am I? What do I like? What brings me joy? When was the last time I was happy? What, what did I do? What did I eat? You know, and then like start figuring out a, a more complex version of yourself. And then once you figure that out, you walk in that for a while. And next thing you know, two, three, four months then went along and you're not even thinking about anything else. And you're like, oh, I haven't had a depressive episode. And this had a and not saying that's, that's for everybody. I'm not saying that's the one trick pony. But I will say that's a method that you can use to take yourself from where you're at. Because one thing that has been scientifically proven is that depression and bipolar, well, a lot of these mental disorders, it comes from mineral uh, or brain metabolic deficiencies. Yeah it's, brain, yeah, it's brain metabolic deficiencies and mindset. So once you start operating in those two reprogramming yourself eating right doing right moving and stuff like that you'll be good and it's not oh well that's just me masking the real no you have to realize that you everybody has a purpose everybody has has to be themselves there will never be another you there's only one you on this i don't care if you have a twin there's only one you on this planet now so with that being said once you really figure out who you are what your purpose is you know like we was talking the other day You'll be surprised how you just stepping out and say you're going to do groceries and coming back home. Somebody looking at you, somebody seeing you from a distance, that might have made their day. They came outside and it was like, man, it's, it's something about that person. It's like, it's just something about that person. And then it just, you know, you're on their mind. I was like, it sparks something. You'll be surprised what your presence or what, no matter how you look, no matter how you built, what your presence can do to somebody else, what your conversation can do to somebody else. You know, so don't for a second think that you're not. Just, oh, I'm living outside of whatever and I'm not a nobody. And it's, everybody's a somebody. Everybody has a purpose. Everybody has a destiny. It's been proven time and time and time again via numerology, via psychology, via sociology, all that type of stuff. Just take the time to figure out what's best for you and don't compare it to nothing else. If you, as a garbage man, be the best garbage man you want to be. If you're a mortician, be the best mortician you want to be. If you're an athlete, be the best athlete you can be. If you're a servant, be the best servant because that's what I am. Yeah, everybody like, oh well you were coaching but i'm a servant my purpose in life and i've accepted it and i love it my purpose in life is to serve is to educate people is to help people on the way and i love being a servant because at the end of the day like i told you yesterday i don't view myself no higher no lower than anybody else like we're all one being but we just have to figure out how can we be of service to the next person or to our own destiny you'll cater so much to your destiny and who you are and your purpose to where you don't even realize you're serving for others you don't even realize you're helping others and the next thing you know Oh, well, all of this financial security came out of nowhere. All of this health came out of nowhere. Well, you've been serving yourself and others. I've been taking the time to study X, Y, and Z. So I'm, the, I'm good at what I do. But there's a result 
to investing in yourself and investing in others. There's a result. You will always reap what you sow, whether it be directly or indirectly. But let's get to the next question because y'all know me. I could talk about that all day. Uh, what can you do? Ah, hold up. Let me fix this mic. But that, you know what? That, that makes me think. That makes me think. Let me, I'm because I also want to. <laughs> I need to answer these emails too, y'all. See, y'all, y'all be grabbing me in, and I love it though. But um, that also makes me think about something else too. You know, a lot of people don't really don't take the time to. Re- it's like it's kind of hard. I will say this. Excuse me if I'm messing with the mic. I'm sorry, y'all. A lot of people don't realize they stuck. Like y'all ever notice how like dysfunction becomes normal? Like it becomes really, really, really normal. Like, just I'm not going to dive into that too much because I want to take up all your time, but that's that's something else. So let me scroll to the next question. But shout out to you, J. Yusty Dizzy614. I hope I said your name right. Um, Yeah, I hope I answered your question. The next question said, what can you do if you are anemic and you have sickle cell? So we have to think about what sickle cell anemia is, right? So it's a form of anemia growing into an acute social problem. So it's like, I, I say this. It was a very small portion of like Africa and Asia and the Mediterranean the Mediterranean area that had it but now you're starting to see sickle cell anemia starting to be like really 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 prevalent like my one of my best friends have it you know and it's people that 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 have like some of the worst deficiencies when it comes down to not even just iron but I like to think about it as okay so the blood itself has a hard time operating so anytime that your blood has a hard time coming from the unsickled nature and it's constant because like everybody blood naturally sickles everybody like when you get to running when you're doing something athletic when you let me know if we back y'all my uh my phone what you call it my phone needs to be put on the charger i didn't realize it. i'm in the zone let me know if we back y'all i'm about to put it on the charger real quick all right we good my apologies my apologies my apologies my apologies all right i'm gonna go back up my apologies, y'all. Give me one second. All right, we back. Okay, I'm seeing the numbers come back in. But yeah, everybody blood, everybody's blood sickles. Everybody, when you get to running, when you're working out, but it's the problem. The problem begins whenever it's unsick, whenever it can't unsickle, whenever it can't go back to its regular shape. You know, so I oftentimes tell people, a lot of my clients that have anemia, I pretty much tell them like, you need to make sure that for one, you have to be on dandelion coffee. Like it's just something about how dandelion coffee just go straight to like it, it's the way it interacts between the liver and the blood you have to do it like a lot of uh green leafy vegetables that contain chlorophyll a lot of iron and folic acid um some people say you should do like like cider vinegar so i'm i'm not a fan of cider vinegar but like dried beans apricots shellfish um dandelion leaf salads like dandelion's gonna be your, your biggest biggest friend and if you don't and if you really don't want to do that you can start doing like um uh, you could do, let me see. It's, I have it somewhere right here in my, for my other one. I don't want to give y'all the, the two, two specific one because it'll start tearing y'all up, but I do want to give y'all a tea recipe that I made. Yeah. You can do Iceland moss. Let me see. Where is that? My bad. The print small. You can do Iceland moss. You can do any type of nettles. So you got stinging root nettle, alfalfa, things of that nature. You can do red clover flowers and you take two teaspoons of each per, uh, couple a cup of water and you're gonna boil it right so like we talked about the other day the longer you boil it the the darker and the more uh, potent it's gonna get take that every day I often tell people three times a day before a meal before you drink i mean before you eat your meal and that's that's gonna help you out for sure but if you're somebody that wants like i know people do tinctures and stuff like that too so you can do um inconacea dandelion oat husk um yeah, that would be, that'd be a good one. Yeah, so you could do Inconacea, Dandelion, and Oat Husk. But it's going to be two drops of Inconacea and one drop of the rest because you want the Inconacea to be the highest level, the highest uh, herb that you're consuming out of the combination. But um, other than that, I mean, anemia, I'm not going to say it's something that's easy to fix. Some people actually don't really get rid of it sometimes. But to live a quote-unquote, I'm going to say normal life, I'm going to just use the quotes very generously because it is what it is. But I would say more so you have to target on the foods that's high in iron, that's high, high in zinc, that's really good for re, um, uh, rebuilding the blood and reoxygenating the blood. So a lot of chloroxygen. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. Chloroxygen and chlorophyll, that's really, really, really good for you. I love working with you two, Fantasia. You are the best. 
do you believe in oil pulling? Yes, I do. I actually reverse one of my cavities like that. And here's the crazy part. I don't I don't eat a lot of candy. I don't really eat candy in general, honestly, and I don't eat bad. But like I had a cavity trying to form years ago and I had coconut oil. And I right before oh no, it would be right before I brush my teeth and I brush my I floss. I brush my teeth and no I lie, I will floss, I brush my teeth, I put the coconut oil in, and then I hop in the shower. And then I take a whole shower to make sure that I'm in there for like 10, 15 minutes. And then after I'm done with my shower, I spit it out and then I floss again. And not even like two months later, all the joint, the tooth pain went away. My, uh, my enamel was back. Like everything was good. All pulling definitely works. They say it's good for your digestive system and a whole host of other things. It's mainly for the liver detox. If you're talking about the cast of things, yeah, it's really good for you. What could you do if you had really bad anemia and sickle cell? We just talked about that. I used the same person that just asked. I hope I answered your question. My name is Ali. I'm from South Africa. What must I do? I can't sleep at night. So the first thing I tell people whenever it comes down to insomnia is do not run to no melatonin. Do not. Please do not. Because a lot of people, they run to this stuff. And it's like, it's kind of the same as coffee, right? It's like, if you... If you can't, if you can't produce it on your own, or if you can't, if you can't get something that's going to actually enable your sleep, as opposed to inhibiting something that stops something else from doing X, Y, and Z when it comes down to sleep, then you shouldn't be consuming it. Our melatonin is so horrible for the body. Well, especially the ones they make it now. But I've seen people uh, get like the satin pillowcases or the herb pillowcases, and they fill it up with chamomile, lavender, and then they leave it in the and they put like little tea packs and uh, well herb packs all over the bed but especially inside the pillowcase and then a lot of people take like really 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 uh warm baths and they meditate before they go to sleep and they do that out out like a light out like a lady like really 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 sleepy sleepy i had a friend who used to suffer with that he's really good now i sent him some stuff and also to make sure like if you're on antidepressants and stuff like that that causes other forms of mineral imbalances so you wouldn't be able to really sleep how you want to because everything is kind of off you know, so make sure that if you're on any type of um, antidepressants, things of that nature, I ain't gonna say wean yourself off of it because obviously, you know, you own it for a reason. You feel as though you need it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you to get on and off of any type of medicine. I'm not gonna do that. But what I will say is, you know, make sure you're eating properly. Make sure you're fasting too. Sometimes we can't sleep because our our electricity is off. So you know, you need to get let the body have a chance to rest, to recoup, to heal, to do something else. You know, and then like flood yourself with fruit juice, uh, and then you know, you you pretty much shake back too. What type of herbs are good for inflammation? It depends on what type of inflammation. Like, you can get you some ginger. You can get you some turmeric. Uh, ginseng is really good. A lot of neutrals, too. Alfalfa, stinging, uh, stinging nettle root, ginkgo biloba, uh, goto cola. All of those are really, really good. But, yeah, a lot of people... Um, No, I'm not doing that. A lot of people look for alternatives in my opinion that should be i want to i want to use the right word i don't want to offend nobody they look for the quick fix i'll say that they, they look for the for the quick fix and if you're looking for the quick fix i'm gonna just let you know right now it's it's not it's not easy it's not gonna typically like you'll get probably what you need a little bit but you're not gonna really get what you really want in the long run you know my hemoglobin is eight I'm taking iron intravenously. What else can I do to increase my hemoglobin? Um, you can take, uh, write this down. I'm going to give you three seconds. Because when these herbs are going to start hitting my head, and I'm going to start telling you today, it's going to be a lot. And I want you to make sure that you're writing this down. Because I'm going I'm to repeat the list like twice. So you should definitely get on, uh, well, try. I'm going to give you a list of things to try. Try two, three at, the, at, at first. So in Kinesia, uh motherwort you can do mugwort you can do barberry you can do hops any type of nettles uh saw palm saw palmetto capero red clover dandelion i'm gonna say that again got inconacia got motherwort mugwort barberry hops any type of nettles Saw palmetto, finally got you. You almost had me this time. Capero, red clover, and dandelion. What else we got? Loving y'all questions today. Loving y'all questions today. 
Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Diamond. Good evening. Y'all some polite people today. It's really good to see a young man doing what you doing what he doing what he know he's called to do. I'm trying, man. I'm trying my best. Some days I'll be wanting to quit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That's why I was telling you about that discipline. Some days I'll be wanting to quit because it's like I hit these plateaus sometimes of like trying to figure out stuff and then I don't have the right information to figure it out. And then lo and behold, I'll be like, all right, because I'm I believe in praying. So I'll be like, Lord, just connect me with the information or connect me with the people so I can get this information to figure this out. And then all of a sudden this book recommendation pops up or all of a sudden this person recommends this to me or I'm in my studies and I find this and some stuff just start clicking like it didn't before. And I was like, oh, OK. And then I just write my formulas and do X, Y and Z. I'm not working. I was in the in the pro like I, I, I have a book. My book is out. It's OK. Like if you want to go get it, cool. Coach com, you go get it. But like I'm in a place now. To where it's like, I'm not trying to make a book, but I'm trying to accumulate enough information in my practice and in myself to where if I could just sit down and talk for hours and somebody write it down, it's a book. I'm trying to get to that point so I could just regurgitate this information like and make it make more sense. Because I could tell people, oh, this is good, that's good, but I like to tell them why. What's the etymology? What's the symptoms? What's the treatment? What's the diet for it? You know, there's a fix for everything. Oh, Brazil in the building. What's happening? Okay, everybody say we back. That must this must have been the, the section whenever my uh phone was like, oh, I'm dying. Hi from Miami. Miami. I can't wait to go to Florida. I haven't been yet. What are your feelings on all of oregano and also chlorophyll? Both are well. I'm big I'm a bigger chlorophyll fan than anything. I, I think we just talked about that. Chloroxygen is the brand, the first brand that I actually tried. And then I got some chlorophyll recently that's alfalfa based. If you're O type, don't get the alfalfa based though. Get the regular kind. But um but yeah, I have the alfalfa based one now, but I'm about to go back to chloroxygen because it just it just hits a little harder. It just hits a little harder for my system. But um yeah, but chlorophyll is like I didn't I've literally fixed a lot of I didn't have respiratory problems when I was younger, but like I had what they tried to diagnose me with was acute asthma and stuff like that, but I didn't see how because I've always been like a long distance athlete since I was a child and I was like I never get winded. I could literally go run four miles I go run a mile in about four minutes right now and be fine i'm gonna be i'm gonna be like pushing but like in 10 seconds i'll probably have my catch my breath back or i'll go do three miles and i'll be good i can run three miles straight you know so i don't i never did understand why they tried to diagnose me with that but you know chlorophyll has always been a good a good part of my diet so what's your take on black seed oil black seed oil <laughs> i saw a post that said black seed oil uh cures everything except for death and that's true to a certain extent black black seed oil is something that's very potent reason why it goes it can be topical it can be ingested it can be all like prime example if y'all go research wet cupping there's a guy called rip right um he actually put me on to it like a year or two ago um they it's like microblading or needling a little bit. It doesn't hurt from what they say. I haven't, I want to do it. I haven't done it yet. I gotta, I would have to go to a whole nother stage. They don't do it while, while I live at, but like they kind of microblade a little bit throughout your body. And I thought they're not like tearing through your body, but like they just like little nicks here and there. And then they put like the, um, the little suction cup. I forgot the name of it, but the little suction cups that the masseuses and the therapists be using, they put them on there. And then like, you'll see it like the, the thick, coagulative blood that's just not good like it's kind of like an oil change that's how i look at it. it looks like an oil change they'll scoop it out and you'll see it it's like real thick it's gelatin like and then they'll they'll throw it away or whatever but then they come back with a black seed oil spray to not only heal and sanitize but it's real good for the circulatory system because it's going right back in the pores and then you'll see people's like skin clear up you'll see their um their health increase you'll see like the the pigmentation of their skin it'll clear up a lot it doesn't look all gray it doesn't look all dark and, and eaten up you know so I feel like black seed oil is really, really, really good once used properly. Oh, there she goes. She finally emailed me back. Right, I'm gonna check that in a few seconds. You better not quit. I won't. I won't. It's just the I'm I'm human. It's human. It's just like I have those days to where it's like I feel like my business could be better. I feel like my knowledge could be better. I feel like I can operate better because I'm not. I, like I said yesterday on the live, if I don't have the answers. I will quickly get a book that has the answers, go learn it, or get some or direct you to somebody else. I'm never I, one thing I will not do is come on here and preach lies. Because there's there's enough people on here talking about, oh well, this does this and that does this and blah. No. Like we need to be on here spread knowledge and information and never we can't whenever we can't do it and somebody else can't direct them to like you just don't have it at the time. It's just not it's not in your cards. And I and I, I'm the type of person where it's like if I can't do it, 
or if it's not for me or if I can't really like give it to you, I'm not going to sit here and lie. Or if I can't get the answers, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I got it. Let me know. Either, either, either I got it and I can figure it out or I can't. And I'm going to push it. But, and that was, but that was a hurdle. But now I think about who I, who I'm studying under and the stuff I've been studying. These people have been doing this for decades. I'm about to make my first decade in this, in this game. They've been doing it three, four, five times longer than me. So of course they can regurgitate faster. Of course they have different types of concepts on certain things, but it's my job as a, a student of life, a student of health to continue to, even though I go through these mental ruts sometimes to keep learning, keep doing what I have to do to get it going. You are fabulous. No question, because I like how you give the information out with honesty. Much appreciated. Every single time. Every single time. Ava! Ava's in the building. Ava's in. And shout out to y'all. She she gave me a report, too. Shout out for y'all to actually go and follow Ava. And y'all go and support her. She's the life coach. One of the best life coaches out here in Louisiana. Y'all go to her page. It's AV underscore amazing. If she comments up, if I see one of her comments, I'll pin it to where y'all can go follow her. But um, y'all go support her. Lady's amazing. Thank you for answering me. Anytime. That's what I'm on here for. Q&A, baby. Hey, it's Amanda from South Africa. What's going on, Amanda? South Africa. Let's see. What's the brand of chlor... What's the brand? I read too fast. What's the brand of chlorophyll you like? It's called Chlor Oxygen. See, I'm going to put it in the comment section. Chlor Oxygen. And it's the tincture form. It's a... Uh, boom. It's the tincture form. It's... um. It's going to look like, hold up, this ain't it. This is my actual hair oil that I'm almost done with. That I'm going to start redistributing to everybody. But it's going to come in like a, a tincture bottle like this. And it's green. It has a white label on it. White It's white, blue, and yellow. And you put the little drops of me. I do a whole pool. I put like three pools in my gallon. And sometimes I do more. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't want to see through the gallon. That's how much I want in there. And then I chuck that down, bro, you'll... You'll be like, ah, like you'll be ready. It's crazy. It just, and it's just, it just reoxygenates you. That's all it does. It's not like no enhancement or nothing like that. It's natural. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, there she go. Hey, she said, hey, look, I'm going to pin her comment right there. I'm going to pin her comment right there. But yeah, y'all, it's, bro, look, it's amazing. Like, I'm, I'm just very, I find myself being grateful these days of just, being able to have a platform and being able to actually talk to people in general because granted they like to mute they like to push us down in the algorithm and all that type of stuff but like i love the fact that i'm still able to get on here say how i feel you know and like talk about the actual things that's going to help people and yeah they may knock our numbers down and stuff like that but we're still going to get the message out and we're still going to do what we have to do because she said, what are we talking about? Oh, you must have just came up in here. It's just a Q&A. We were talking about um, herbal medicine and any type of question. Like, some people were talking about anemia. Some people were talking about, um, some people were talking about, like, black. they want to know about black seed oil. Just any type of stuff. But I was plugging you for a second, too. But, yeah, y'all, I'm just grateful. I'm just I'm just crazy grateful that I'm able to even come on here and, like, spew all this information to y'all. Because I know I, between, between Amber and my clients and sometimes Ava, I'm knowing they're sick of hearing me talk. I will talk you. Don't don't start talking about no health stuff. Cause look, any suggestions for diabetes? Um, we talked about diabetes yesterday. So when it comes down to diabetes, we're talking about acute acidosis of the pancreas. So we have to understand that the filtration happens between the adrenal glands, the kidneys, which is essentially one, uh, the liver and the pancreas. Now, if you're somebody who struggles with the concept of sugar, well, let's talk about it right now. I'm not saying you are, but let's just kind of keep it general and talk about it. Diabetes come from because doctors are right to an extent. Too much sugar is bad for you, yes, but too too many complex sugars is bad for you. That's what causes the acidosis. That's what causes the cortisol levels to spike within the adrenal glands. So whenever we talk about, oh, well, you should consume a lot of sugars, and well, you, should, you shouldn't consume a lot of sugars and things of that nature, yeah. Not all these processed foods, not all of these Snickers and these ice creams and all this other fried this, that, and the third because the body has an extremely hard time. Uh, consuming that because why it requires a lot of cortisol levels and anytime you notice high levels of cortisol you start getting more acidosis within the body you start seeing more le higher levels of stress within the body now the glands can't function now the organs are having a hard time now the muscles are getting all stiff and now the breath is getting bad now you can't properly uh, metabolize um, your carbs proteins and fats so now your piss got a bunch of bubbles in it it gets bad you know but at the same time what you should do is Go more towards the uh, to the simple sugars. So let's talk about that. So simple sugars are monosaccharides, are the sugars that's already in their most simplest form. 
form. I, uh, uh, they properly mix with uh, where the sugars properly mix with the oxygen. Your body knows what to do with it, and it and then your body properly knows how to digest those things. So when you talk about monosaccharides, we are talking about the fruits. We are talking about your vegetables. We are talking about sometimes like the grains and stuff like that, but more so your fruits and vegetables. These things can digest properly. But when we talk about the disaccharides or the polysaccharide polysaccharides, those are the complex sugars, right? So that's the things that the body takes an immensely hard time to digest so now you start like we said before the ice creams the sugars the processed foods the fast foods things of that nature you know and then the body just it has a heart it, it is what it is like i wish we lived in a world to where we had fast food that was honestly 100 percent organic but then it kind of would be fast food now would it you know i wish we could have stuff that you see in the freezers and walmart is in the third that's not bad for you but that kind of defeats the purpose huh message but at the same time you know once you start giving your body that like Let's dive a little bit deeper into how how to actually help the pancreas out. So a lot of my diabetic or diabetic diabetic clients, um, they like to run from the idea of sugars. But once I figure out their blood type, once I figure out their tolerances and intolerances, I actually put them on a cold pressed fruit juice fast, and they do that for about like a week. Or a lot, well, if it's their first time, two to three days, I kind of wean them onto it, and then we get to a week, and then we get to two weeks, and then eventually we get to a month. But you'll see the pancreas start getting active again. And then you'll see all of the systems start to revitalize themselves again. Then you'll see the acidosis go away. And yeah, you'll have that first insulin spike the first time because the body's like, oh, we finally got sugar to work with that we know how to use. And it's in abundance. So we're going to have a spike. But we're also going to be able to use that. And it's going to regulate within a day or two. So, yeah, everybody gets so caught up on what, you know, you're consuming all these fruits and it spikes you, blah, blah, blah. But the body knows what to do with that. And then once you're flushing and you're not, and that's another thing too. Step back from all these harsh meats. Honestly, you shouldn't really be, especially if you're going through like a true cleanse, you shouldn't be consuming no meat. That's just my, that's just one of my opinions. I'm not saying you have to be a fruitarian. I'm not saying you have to be plant-based, vegan, this, that, and the third. But if you're going to heal and if you have a chronic illness like that, you have to take what's a week or two or even a month to actually just heal yourself or until you're healed and then going back to whatever. And I say going back to whatever because you'll have a hard time going back to that because you'll realize that not only was that the problem, well, it's it in its in its um excessive nature was the problem, but at the same time, you're gonna find yourself not really craving those things. You might eat leaner meats later on. You might eat just less portions of the meat, but you'll notice that okay, I don't get as sick. I still have my energy. I'm craving more of the fruits and vegetables because I I noticed that my protein synthesis is higher. I'm noticing that my nutritional consumption is higher. I can actually uh, I'm about to punch Ava in the face. <laughs> Ava just Ava, you don't be texting me nothing like that while I'm on my live. But um, uh, but y'all know that I can't, bro. Ava get on my nerves. I'm not gonna tell y'all what she just texted me. I should have never let you be one of them people that can actually go through the doggone do not disturb thing. But anyways, long story short, you'll notice that you'll see a reversal in what the body is doing because it can actually work with something. It can actually function properly it can actually heal itself when you give it a proper chance so yes sugars are too much sugars and sugars are bad for you when they're complex sugars but if they're simple sugars you're fine so that would be my and also to just throwing that bilberry that's a really good herb for people that struggle with uh diabetes and things of that nature really good questions today y'all really good questions and i hope i'm not losing none of y'all y'all know i could be a little long-winded i hope i'm not losing losing nobody What can you do to stop taking high blood pressure pills? Um, for one, it's all about the diet. I look, we talked about this the other day. High blood pressure doesn't. I think about it this way: high blood pressure. You should think about it as a uh, quality of the blood. So, what you got to ask yourself: What am I eating, or what am I desiring, or what am I consuming that's making my blood levels and my kidneys overwork? But I will also say too: start your day off with some warm cayenne water. So either be distilled or spring water, get you a pinch of uh, cayenne, sprinkle it in there, stir it up real, real, real good, and chug it down. It's going to open up. It's going to dilate. It's going to help reoxygenate the veins, the system, the blood, all that type of stuff. It's going to fly you through. Also, you can get on um, burdock. You can get on uh, butcher's broom. You can get on um, sarsaparilla. You can get on um, dandelion root, milk thistle. And that should be enough. I ain't going to overload you. But that, that, that should be pretty, pretty good. But also, it ultimately, it falls down to the diet. So you have to start doing cold-pressed fruit juice. You have to start doing cold-pressed vegetable juice. You have to cut off the meats for a little while. Or at least the highly salted, all the heavy meats for a little while. And then do what you got to do.
What's going on, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? I'm saying a lot of hellos, a lot of new people. Love it. I love it. I love it. I am a witness that this is true. That's what I'm talking about, Ava. I'm weak. Do say your wig looks so natural. Huh, if only, huh? I struggle with weight loss between the severe arthritis and slow metabolism. I don't know what I can do to lose the weight now that I've been checked by my doctor for things that could be stopping. So I'll say this. Let's tackle one thing at a time. So when it comes down to weight loss, this is the basic principle. The basic principle of losing weight. You cannot consume more energy and or calories than you are expending on a day to day basis. So let's just, and I'm just throwing out hypothetical numbers. Do not take these numbers and apply them to your life because the biometrics are different and you need something that's specifically for you. But let's just say Paul, Paul consumes, let's say Paul's body takes about 500 calories just to keep him alive throughout the day because it does cost calories to keep your body alive. So let's just say Paul's body naturally burns 500 calories to keep him alive. Paul has a very mobile, he's a very mobile person. He likes to walk. He likes to work out. He spends a lot of time with his kids in the backyard. He has a uh, he has an office job. So let's say Paul's body and what Paul does throughout the day naturally burns 2,300 calories. Paul has to eat 2,300 calories a day to maintain the, his current weight. If he wants to gain weight, Paul has to eat over 2,300 calories. If Paul wants to lose weight, Paul has to eat under 2,300 calories. And that's the basic principles of gaining weight maintaining or losing weight how do you find that out everybody's caloric intakes are different i'm currently almost 180 pounds but i'm six feet tall if somebody is five foot five or five foot two or whatever and they're 180 pounds the amount of caloric intake that we're going to need to either surplus maintain or go into a deficit is going to be completely different so do understand that and you can get those numbers for me if need be. I'll just DM me. I'll help you a lot. But um, it goes according to your height, your age, your weight, and your activity level. That's the best way to get your caloric whatever and your macro whatever. Now, the second part was you said you have severe arthritis and slow metabolism. Now, I'm not saying that you you can't outwork the metabolism that's not what i'm saying if you have a slow metabolism and, that, and that's in true factual then you really need to track and monitor what you're eating because whether it be slow or fast um you know you can do things and eat a certain type of way to still get the results that you want now when it comes down to arthritis i view that totally differently now arthritis i i, I view it as like mineral waste that has crystallized between certain little joints and ligaments and things of that nature but i also did notice we talked about this a few days ago too on the live a lot of people that have arthritis, they they have really, really, really high levels of complex sugars within their body. They love cappuccinos. They love Skittles. They love candy. They love cheese. They love all the stuff that's not good for them. And they don't move around. They don't stretch. They don't do too much of nothing. And also, their kidneys and their liver don't work. The, and their pancreas don't really work the best. So the liver is the biggest detoxifying gland that we have within our body. And it's directly in conjunction to our blood as well. So if you're somebody who doesn't take the time to eat a lot of leafy greens, who do, who isn't hydrated, who isn't eating enough fruits and vegetables, and you don't have a diet ballot, you will develop these things. Especially if you're not moving, you will develop these things because that just comes with the territory of a sedentary lifestyle as opposed to moving, being on herbs, you know, uh, consuming every a very balanced diet and making sure that you're having some form of peace of mind. But all of that plays a part. All of that plays a role. It's, it's all about being holistic. It's all about being whole, not just in one spot. Uh, let's see what is cold pressed fruit juice cold pressed fruit juice is fruit juice that has not been pasteurized it hasn't been blended it's not the same as putting it in the blender you have to juice it you have to juice it strain all that type of stuff so get your juicer uh, I'll per, I'm a big fan of the Omega, the Omega series they their stuff is just immensely good and you get a lot more bang for your buck so I would say the Omega series get that and just look boom or you can get the masticating system as well I forgot the name of the new ones that just came out but they're pretty good too when you eat according to your blood type, is it just for your stomach or will you lose weight? So once again, eating right for your blood type is for your overall well-being because you have foods that's in your beneficial zone, which acts as medicine for your body. That's in your neutral zone that just acts like food. And that's in your avoid zone, which acts like a slow poison for the body. But that doesn't necessarily have a... Con it doesn't necessarily directly affect how much weight you gain or lose. I don't know if you was in here a few minutes ago when we talked about the proper way 
uh, we use Paul for an example, but the proper way to gain, maintain, and lose weight. All of that has to do with the amount of calories that you're burning on a day-to-day -day basis and how many, how many calories you're consuming in comparison or conjunction to what you're burning from the, as the day goes by. Let's see. Man, y'all questions are good, boy. Do you charge to tell us uh, your calorie deficit? Nah, I ain't going to charge you for that. It might take a few minutes because, I mean, I, I'm dealing with a lot of people every day, but I'm not going to charge you for nothing simple as that. But do know. Do know I'm a shameless plug. Uh, can you plug a link up in here? I don't think you can. But oh well, I am a coach. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have a special going on right now. Instead of $500 a month, it's $300 a month. Or you can do bi-weekly payments. You can split it up. Come with your boy. Come on the team. Go look at my clients. I post them regularly. Go on my, Go look at my clients. Y'all see the gains? Y'all see the loss? Y'all see everything? Go check them out. But I ain't going to charge you for that. I ain't gonna try to get just not something that simple. How do you know what is right for your blood type? Well, there's a book. We talked about the book the other day. It's called Eating Right for Your Blood Type. And it explains the origins of blood. It explains what's beneficial for each blood type. The um, But what's really going to help you understand it is the origin. Once you see how the blood forms and how it comes together and how the ancestral cellular information was passed down, it's going to just, it's going to click. It's going to click. I'm telling you. Can you please save this live so I can go back and take notes on blood pressure? I, I post all my lives. All of them are up here. You don't have to worry about that. I post all of them. Unless it's a, unless it gets crazy. If it gets too crazy and I feel like they're going to ban me for something, I delete it. But yeah, I post all. I post every single one of my lives. Because I'm sourcing direct. If I don't have the answer directly in my head, I will pull out a book instantly. So I, that's one thing I do. I source everything. So I ain't about to be out here spitting out no BS to where I have to delete and hide what I'm talking about. That's not me. The book name, again, is called Eating Right for Your Blood Type. Eating right for your blood type but y'all questions are amazing today amazing i'm i'm loving it i'm loving the conversation i'm loving what y'all got talking about y'all got me not replying to nobody in these emails <laughs> i was supposed to reply to these people oh somebody trying to come in on the live sure I guess they don't want to come on the live. My president said I don't because oh, it's all good. Oh no, she coming. Oh, there you go. Hold up. There we go. Hey, how you doing? Oh, never mind. She left. She wasn't with it, y'all. I love your information and your vibe. Thank you so much. I just tried my best, man. Doing my, doing my best of what I can do. Any more questions y'all got for me? I really want to come on here and talk about gluten uh, intolerance because a lot of people have been bombarding me about like what is a gluten free diet and why it's important and is that in the third and um and I just want to basically talk about that a little bit. But y'all questions came in. Well, until until we give some more questions, I'm gonna talk about it. So some people cannot absorb the protein that gluten presents when it comes down to like wheat, barley, rye, and oats and stuff like that. You know, so Anytime somebody comes to me about like, oh, well, I, I need a, a special type of gluten uh, free diet is that in the third I oftentimes tell people if you're cooking it yourself and if you're sourcing it, granted, we have gluten free options and stuff like that these days. But I need people to understand that if you go if you go look up what gluten actually is, we shouldn't be nobody should be consuming that stuff in general. In my personal opinion, I think let me make sure I'm saying I'm quoting that right. Cause if it's not gluten, it's a it's a it's something that's in. Hold up, cause you know I'm quick to I'm quick to look something up. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I am talking about the right thing. So yeah, gluten in general is like, all right, yeah, gluten in what exactly is gluten? Yeah, so gluten in general is like the protein that's found that's naturally found in certain types of uh grains and things of that nature. But what I've noticed is the natural Natural grains that conform that con that contributes to the natural gluten isn't really the problem. It's the binding agents that they've been using on top of that type of stuff, like with the starches and all that type of stuff to add that they've been making to coagulate a little bit more. Like if you, if prime example, if you can go to a um a fast food place, or oh, I hate to use this as an example, but it's the only thing I can think of, and get a bun that's that's regular, and then get a gluten free bun. Most people are not going to get the gluten-free burn because, oh, it's dry, it's grainy, it's yeah, because it's natural. Instead of going and get that that um, that um crazy bread, I forgot, the, the white bread and all this other type of, the the hot, what is it called? The um the bleach, the 
uh, uh, white bleach flour and all that type of stuff, go get like Ezekiel bread or sprout bread, you will taste a, a huge difference. And I'm somebody with a sensitive stomach. When I switched over, my stomach wasn't hurt no more. I wasn't as constipated. Like everything was moving how it needs to, but it's the things that they're binding inside of these grains that make it worse. So people are like, oh, well, if you on a gluten-free diet, you just soften about, no, bro. Like that stuff is like literal chemical glue. Like the stuff that they're adding to like all the complex sugars that we talked about before, that's what's messing us up. You know, so like when we on here talking about like gluten-free and uh, soups and uh, fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, it's for a reason. You know, and then when you actually get the real grain or sprout, but like stuff that actually comprises from that, getting away from the white rice and going to like um, brown rice or going to like basmati rice or uh, jasmine rice and stuff like that, you'll see a big difference. Big, big, big difference. Let's see. What do you use on your skin? Water. <laughs> Everybody always asks me for a skin routine, and I do not have one. I do, the, the most I'll do, I make an oil, which I'm about to sell. Start selling, uh, well, selling, being able to ship. I sell it locally in my city. But um, I have an oil that I use for my beard, and that's it. And I haven't actually had to use this for my beard and my hair in a long time because before I locked my hair, my hair was, like, almost to my butt. So it's like, I don't, I, that's just me. I don't really need it, like, talking about it. But I never had, even when I hit puberty, I never really had bad skin. So I'm not the best person you should ask for that, honestly. I'm Because I'm going to give you fruit juice, celery juice, sauna box. Because it, it's, it's just your skin subcutaneous areas of your skin anyway so what you're eating and how you're sweating can you speak chinese i wish i've been wanting to learn how to speak mandarin for so long i can understand japanese because i've been watching and uh watching anime and reading manga for so long since i was a child so like i can understand it a little bit and i'm pretty decent in spanish but but mandarin's hard i'm not gonna lie mandarin's really hard but i want to get fluent in spanish first Touch up a little more of my Japanese and then hit Mandarin and I'll be good. It's gluten and seasonings. Nine times out of ten is rarely in there. I don't have, but there's a spot in the top of my head that's always sore to touch and my hair is coming out there. And only there, what can I use? I hope that's not alopecia, but I would say um, peppermint oil, uh, jojoba oil, and black castor oil no jamaican castor oil and that'll probably help you out but it's not like a circulation thing too thanks for that info anytime what is your feelings on holistic supplements oh bro herbal medicine is what i do shoot what's my what's my feelings on it i love it <laughs> that's what i do i will i will suggest a herb and a holistic supplement before medicine and not to say that you know i'm not trying to start no war between medicine is that and the third but oh yeah if it's holistic that's what that's what i do that's my thing <laughs> Oh my God, I forgot to tell you that I noticed the difference after eating Ezekiel bread, Ezekiel bread versus regular bread. And we just talked about it. See? See? Oh, wait. This is D. What's up, D? Ah, this is one of my clients, y'all. I ain't going to make you come on the live. I ain't going to put you on the live. But all I'm saying is, she in my top three. Just like I was talking about Fantasia, she in my top three. What's going on, Duke? What's going on? I'm also learning. In Spanish it's fun bro I've like I've I was learning Spanish because I was dating a lot of Hispanic people but um that's just the area I live into a lot of people speak Spanish around here so I just I have to learn it I, like I want to learn it but I have to learn it dun, 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 dun. come on computer don't do that I need to reply to this but yeah I'm uh I'm still trying to figure out <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure out what Excuse me. That's my body saying that it's hungry. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what I can do to really like help out everybody like a little bit more on all platforms, like for with the oils I'm about to put out because I'm having a beard oil that's coming out. I'm having a hair oil that's coming out, but I also want to do like pain oils. I want to be able to like, cause I, I, I ain't going to say what I was mixing. Cause I can't give y'all my secret formula. I can't give y'all the crap had a secret formula, but I have used said oils that I've been mixing and trying out on my parents. So, like, I do, like, physical therapy with my parents. No, they're not old and cranky and stuff like that, but I just want to – I just like to help out, you know? So, cause my dad has a physical label. He builds, like, explosives and stuff like that. So, he's with tools and heavy stuff all day. And plus, my mom's a teacher. Teaching teaching is very, stre is very stressful. But um, I stretched them. You know, I help them with their physical therapy, and I, be, I made this oil that I've been using on them. And, bruh. Like, cause my dad suffers with, like, back problems from just his job in general. He's always had hard-label jobs. And, like, the difference he's been making, 
and I've been telling I left him with a bottle, how to use it on this, how to massage this and do it like that. Complete 180. So like yeah, it's it's oh yeah. It's gonna be lit. Um, what I was about to say, somebody asked me about uh alopecia. What 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 are they talking about? What is this? Guys call us whatever, bro. <laughs> Let me see. Let's scroll back up. Is there a cure for alopecia? Definitely so. Um, a lot of people I'm gonna sound crazy for saying this, but a lot of people rub berry juice in their hair. Berry juice, or they put like peppermint oil in their hair. Be careful with the peppermint oil, especially if you have alopecia because you already have like some type of scarring and stuff like that. But it's really um, toxicity of the blood and poor circulation to the to the scalp. So um, you can start doing berry juice to the head. You can start doing, um, I believe it's yellow dock. You can use uh, horsetail uh, tea, and you can make a wash. And even I believe dandelion root actually does, or dandelion leaves. Then is it the root? I want to say it's dandelion root. Um, it's really, really good as a wash you could put in your hair. What would you recommend for migraines? Um, go to cola, ginkgo biloba, um, stinging nettle root. That'd be my three. Go to cola, ginkgo biloba, and stinging nettle root. That's my three. Put me down for that all for my mom, coach. Say less. Say less. I just got to, man, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, it's gonna be expensive for me to make this stuff in bulk. But I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to do it. Because God been told me to do it. And I don't want to get too deep on y'all. But, like, I've been praying about this. And God was like, you got to have this done by the end of December. And I was like, all right, cool. It's just me figuring out how I'm going to distribute it. Because it's a, it's a lot. Like, my clientele is a lot. I've been, I ain't going to lie. I've been focusing more so on my one-on-one -on -one clients. I haven't really been pushing my website. I haven't been pushing my pro my digital protocols and stuff like that. It's Uh, But because I just, I've been having this real strong connection to my clients. You know, I want to give them my undivided time. But I do feel like I need to start doing these products because when clients fall short, or I have to, I just cut off four clients because if you're not going to do the system, you're not going to do it right. I don't need your money that bad. I'm going to be all right. But I had to cut off four people. So it's like, I would love for that time that I had with them to go into my products, which I should do, which I should do. What can you recommend for high cholesterol? Oh, you have to cut back on the salt. You have to cut back on the butters. You have to cut back on the oils. You have to cut back on the fried this. High cholesterol comes from high levels of trans fat. So that's strictly predicated upon your diet. So leafy greens, a lot of that. Don't don't eat don't if you're gonna eat meat, you should have enough leafy greens on your plate to wrap all your meat in the leafy greens and some. Like you gotta go crazy with the leafy greens, go crazy with the fruit juice and you'll be good for sure, for sure. What kind of berry juice? Um, any kind, honestly. Berries, berries are berries. Can I DM you those? You for those migraine? Yeah, just yeah. My DMs are always open, y'all. They always open. If you any type of questions, y'all got just slide my DMs. I got y'all. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, and Siberian ginseng though too. What can I use for scalp pimples? Dermatology is way too expensive. Same thing. I will start. Um. You got to think about pimples in general, right? Let's take a step back. So we already know that sebum and excessive amounts of sebum is what causes acne and things of that nature. So if you're getting pimples, that means that there's some poor circulation or there's some bacteria up there that can't get its way in and or, I mean, that can't get its way out. So what I would say is start, I ain't going to say start washing your hair more, but start doing more herbal washes with your hair. Get a sauna box, but not the ones that stop here. Get the ones on Amazon. I think it's like one Maybe like 115, 127, but it's the one that you can actually be inside of. You have to sweat. Part your scalp, especially where the pimple is, or if you just want to part there where the pimple's at. Part it out. Um, sweat. You know, go outside, let the sun hit it. A lot of horsetail tea. Um, and you should be good. That'll help it out. It's really just cleaning it out. It's the bacteria in there that's kind of messing it up. And that's what's kind of, it's not getting all the, all the way out. But you start adding circulation, you start adding that sweat, you start actually massaging it through and then putting herb washes on top of it, you'll be good. You'll be real, real, real good. Man, I love y'all questions today, by the way. Y'all, y'all doing y'all doing me a service. Y'all keep me sharp. I love it. I love it. Love it. Fun fact too, by the way, y'all. Um, your hair green or your hair turning gray doesn't necessarily mean that you're um that you're uh you're getting older. I mean, aging does have stuff to do with it, but I will say that, you know, your vitamin B uh vitamin Bs in general 
you know, is pretty low. Your selenium and your zinc is really low, and but especially the copper in your system is low. So get on them about get on the vitamin B complex. You know, like start getting on some rosemary, start getting on some red sage, get on oak bark. You know, and like it'll help out. It is not it may not be a permanent thing, but it'll help out for the time being to like kind of help with the grain and stuff like that and alleviate that. I got like, like maybe one or two more questions, y'all. Then I'm gonna go eat. I only had grapefruit juice today. I haven't eaten anything, and I feel like it's around my last time, my window for me to eat, because I don't really eat after 6 o'clock, like talking about, and it's 4 o'clock over here, which means I have to hurry up and go warm some food up, because we cooked yesterday, when that broccoli about to taste so good. But, um, but yeah, I got, like, maybe one or two more questions, and then we'll be good. But other than that, before I start seeing some questions roll in, or if some questions, some more questions roll in, y'all go to CoachBrian.com. Coach B R I N E, Coach Brian. Y'all go to that and just get you something. Share the word. I always tell people, share the word. Go and share my post or put me in your storyline. Tag me in it so I can see that you did it so I can repost you. But um, put me in y'all storyline. Just spread the word, y'all. I'm trying to really get this stuff moving. Like, we, I did the whole 30 day thing and, you know, get your business back for blah, 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 blah. I did because I came from TikTok. And I like Instagram a lot better than TikTok. And I want to grow my Instagram a little bit more, but I want to grow it and market it in the right way. So I want people to make sure that they're getting everything that they need that I can give them. You know, so please go share a post, go tag somebody, all that type of stuff. Who is this? Iggy Wood? All right. I don't have alopecia, but in 50s and hair is still thinning it's hormonal it's very hormonal so i would say um even in primrose horse tail tea for you as well dandelion root for the liver um eye bright for the circulation to the cranium uh and that'll be that'll be pretty good for you but also uh get on get on foods that's high 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 and not well i ain't gonna say high in zinc and copper just eat a lot more leafy greens and if you're eating a lot of hard meats eat fish for a little while and then go to a more lean meat All right, y'all. That looked like that was my last question. Coach Brian out. Hope you have a great day. Hope everybody's doing good. For all of you that are just tuning in, hit that follow button for more content so y'all can know when I go live. Hit them post live notifications on. And I'm going to catch y'all another time. Go and eat. Peace.